Bruce, um, once again, your job is to foster public trust in politics, bring back the trust, bring the politicians closer to the people. How do election campaigns affect that? Because, I mean, th th there is a, 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 perhaps a, a school of thought that suggests that the more people hear or see of politicians, the more trust vanishes. Would that be right? Well, um, so election campaigns are obviously quite an interesting time for trust in politics because you have all these politicians making promises, making proposals that they might not really have the detail yet of how that's going to actually play out in, in real life, which is kind of what I felt as well about um, listening to Alex Kohamich and kind of mirroring what Eunice said there as well. Some really good topics brought up, but I feel like uh, a bit of detail was missing. So that, you know, you have people listening to these things and wondering... Can I trust that? Are they actually going to do that? Or is it just an empty promise to get my vote? Um, that is something that I think every voter will uh, weigh up against in their heads um, time and time again. Eunice, you... especially... oh, sorry, yeah. Ellie. Uh, just carry on. Oh, I was just saying, especially uh, for young voters, um, again, the topics that were brought up were really important. Housing, mental health, environmental protection. Um, but it didn't feel like young voters were at the heart of those, uh, of those proposals. Um, and that is so important because we know that voter turnout in younger, uh, the younger population is lower. Uh, it's just uh, that's what it is. But that doesn't mean that we should focus proposals on the older, uh, older population necessarily. It means that our proposals need to be more focused on young people and need to actually listen to what those young people want. Yeah.